Hello there, you welcome back to the program. Two years ago, the outcome of the Ghana National Skills Competition organized by the Council of Technical and Vocational Education and Training, COVID, saw three brilliant young men from the Accra Technical University in Ghana emerge winners. Now, this sets the pace for the journey to the creation of the bot arm, which will be a miniature version of what one will find in an industrial space. You can see on your television screen there what exactly we're talking about. It is a robotics training kit which will aid in the acceleration of learning and building of robotic systems across the country. Now, the brains behind what you see on your screens are with me in the studio to help us understand what exactly went into this innovation and their way in the future. So Clement and Justice, yes. brilliant work done. So I could see you holding that Justice. Yes. So this is the bot arm robot that you're talking about. Yes, yes. What informed your decision to come up with this piece? Okay, so uh, after the skills competition, we excel. So we had the opportunity to travel to Italy. Okay. And we went to the company De Lorenzo and they took us through, the, uh, they showed us the machines and things they had. And when we saw the innovation, the tech that they were kind of having there, we were so inspired that we wished to share this with the wider uh, Ghana population so that they could also have a feel of what we had when we went there. So we came up with the idea of also coming up with these robots that will be used as a kit to be trained students. Great. So, Clement, what entered into this whole, you know, uh, invention that you're holding in your hands. This is a kit where you could use to control the, the, yeah, the robot, right? Yes. Kind of a PlayStation kind uh, of stuff. It's kind of a remote. Okay. So, yeah. so we have two models, the one with Bluetooth and the other one we use a Wi-Fi model. So we can easily control the robot, robot arm with okay. any of these uh, remote controllers. Mm. So, I mean, what, once again, I want to know what inspired you, the, you gentlemen, to come up with this kit. Okay. So. What inspired us to come up with this kit is the, the great innovation that we want to see right there, which we, we don't find in our nation here. So we decided to come and share that same experience with the people of Ghana by also designing a robotic kit that will be used to teach students. Because usually the practicality of what we do is kind of less, and mm. it's going to bring the hands-on practical to our educational system. Have you engaged authorities so far on this project? Yes, yes, actually, yes. yes. Mm. And what has been the feedback, Clement? Oh, they, they were very impressed uh, with what uh, we've been able to achieve because uh, uh, initially, uh, currently, okay, initially, we were not really into uh, robotics, but after our program, after our t a few trainings in Italy, uh, we saw how great tech has, has improved over there. So as we came back to Ghana, we also plan to also do certain over here. So they, they were very impressed with the kind of uh, plans we made it towards. This All right, so Clement, I want you to hold this thing there. And uh, Justice, sorry, hold this thing as Clement demonstrates to us how it works exactly. I know it's currently out of service, but demonstrate to us how this thing works for our viewers to see. OK, okay so yeah. with this model, we have three ways of controlling the bot arm. OK. We have the manual. OK. So you can easily use this manual to control it. We also have our remote control. You can either control using your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You can also control it with your phone. So it means that if I'm a contractor on the field, I could control these huge machines yes, with please. my phone or a Wi-Fi oh, yes, or even please. manually. Yes, 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 please. Yes. 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 Have you thought of the commercialization of this project? Yes, actually. <laughs> this is the, uh, the second prototype. We'll be coming up with the final prototype, which will be commercializing. And yes, so that is the other aspect of it. I want you to share with me your dreams for the future because this is an invention that you've come up with, yeah. but with it comes its own challenges. I believe you've already registered the patent as we yeah. speak. It's in process. in process. You must do that. Okay. But share with me the prospects for the future. Where do you guys see yourself? Because you're three in number. Yes. Yes. For the purposes of COVID-19, we couldn't bring in the third person. But where do you see your works in the future? Okay, we, we see ourselves becoming a, a company that are into robotics, that uh, sort of build robots and sort of made it available to institutions. That's the business aspect of it. We are trying to push it that high to make it a self-employment to ourselves, where we employ ourselves. And uh, the future, we're going to employ others to, to also help in probably improving and shooting it very high. Mm. So, yes. 
But what about you, Clement, having to permeate through this whole space of robotics in a country where the sciences is all that matters, you know, the, the arts and uh, cultures are all that matters. Science and tech is often a thing that people often take a second look at. Where do you see your vocation in the future? Uh, in our project, there's one key thing we focus on. We're trying to, we are all students from Accra, Accra. Exactly. And uh, during, our, uh, during our school period, the practical level in the school was, wasn't that much. Mm. And basically, when you complete and move to the industry, the industry required you to have some basic ideas of, uh, of, of, of uh, robots. Because yeah. in the industry, they are mostly into mechatronics and robotics. And when students complete, they lack the basic knowledge. So our idea with this board time is to, is to design it so that the student can both learn the basic and advanced level. So that when they get to the industry, operating is very easy and the company wants to waste extra money and resources to train them. So one way we are trying to bridge the gap between uh, the, 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 the students and the company. Mm. Yes. Any fears? Any fears? Okay, uh, you know, uh, at the beginning of everything, you, you sort of face the challenge, just like we started. Uh, there are a lot of challenges that we faced that uh, brought those fears, but what we've got into, there is enough confidence that I think the future is bright. Yeah, and I think our next prototype, because we've learned a whole lot of lessons in coming up with I see that. Thing. We started from using wood, mm. and we, we faced many challenges the durability of it so we decided that okay there is 3d printer in the system why don't we deploy it on board to sort of make this and this is how far we've come it has given us the confidence that yes we could really make it gentlemen i'm impressed and congratulations as well we have more discussions in the future but these are three innovative minds there uh, helping us understand what exactly entered into the invention of this particular piece and others that they explained early on in our interaction